For number five, we are told that in the figure, part of a long insulated wire carrying current I is equal to 2.08 milliamps is bent into a circular section of radius R is equal to 3.04 centimeters. We are asked what is the X component, Y component, and Z component of the magnetic field at the center of curvature C if the circular section lies in the plane of the page as shown. For A, B, and C, we're going to do these all together. When we look at this, we are going to find the components of the magnetic field at the center. So we're finding the magnetic field in here at C. There are a couple different things acting on it. First, the circular part, and second, this rod part. When we're doing this, we need to find our B, and since there's two things acting on it, we have to have a B net, and that's going to be equal to B, we'll call this circular, plus B of the wire. The B of our circular is going to be equal to the constant U naught times the current I over 2R. Our BW is going to just be the regular magnitude where we have U naught times I over 2 pi R. Once we have these, we can take them and plug them into our B net. After we do this, we can see our constants and what's the same. We're given one I right here, so that is the same. Both our IC and IW are equal. So we can factor that out along with our U naught and two. This should have a two pi R, not just two pi. And since we are also given only one R, we can say that these are the same, with this originally being R of C and R of W. After we rewrite this, we're gonna have B net is equal to U naught times the current divided by two R, and this is going to be multiplied by one plus one over pi. Our U naught is constant, so this is gonna be four times pi times 10 to the negative seven Tesla meters over amps. This is going to be multiplied by our current, which is 2.08 MA. We need to convert this to just amps. So this is gonna be 2.08 times 10 to the negative three amps. And underneath we are going to have our two R. So we have our two times our R, which is 3.04 centimeters or 3.04 times 10 to the negative two meters. And this is just being multiplied to one plus one over pi. After we carefully plug all of this into a calculator, we are gonna get that our B net is equal to approximately 5.67 times 10 to the negative eight Teslas. However, we are dealing with X components y components and z components so this is not our full answer now our c lies in this plane if we go in here and we draw our y axis like this and our x axis like this we can see that it's not moving along either of them and the only way it would be moving would be in the z axis so that means our b of net is going to terminate into zero for x we are going to have a zero for y, but we are going to have our 5.67 times 10 to the negative eight Teslas for k. And this is the answer for a, b, and c. Now we're looking at our d, e, and f, and that is asking us for the x, y, and z component of the, mag of the magnetic field at the center of curvature c if the circular section is perpendicular to the plane of the page after being rotated 90 degrees clockwise as indicated. This means that if we look at our circle and it's being rotated 90 degrees clockwise, we have this arrow to look at. So essentially, it is going to be on its side, more or less, kind of like this. Really, it would just look like this but for 3D purposes, it's just going to be like this, with our C running down the middle and our actual C being actually in the middle. From here, we saw that 
we have no movement in our y and if we want we can redraw our x y and z this is our y this would be our x and this would be our z we have no movement in our y so for e when it's asking for a y component we can assume that y is equal to zero this is our first answer we can bind this to our e now we look at our x and z there is movement in here since these are rotating 90 degrees our center is going to be denoted as b of x the x component at c if rotated 90 degrees is going to be found when we use our previous b of c right here we can now write this as our b of x and that is equal to our b of c which is equal to u naught times i divided by 2r we can plug in our values and see that our b of x is going to be equal to 4 pi 10 to the negative 7 because this is constant tesla meters over amps being multiplied our current which we know to be 2.08 times 10 to the negative 3 amps divided by 2 times our r and our r is given as 3.04 centimeters or 3.04 times 10 to the negative 2 meters and this is going to give us b of x is equal to approximately 4.3 times 10 to the negative 8 teslas this is going to be the answer for d for f we're asked for our b of z if rotated 90 degrees and our b of z is going to be like our b of w so when we rewrite this we can set this equal to our b of w which is equal to u naught times i divided by 2 pi r writing this is very similar to what we had in bx the only thing that's different is that we will move our numerator over slightly so that we can fit a pi in here and after we do this we are going to get that our b of z is approximately 1.4 times 10 to the negative 8 teslas and this is going to be the answer for f and again since there's no movement in our y uh, for e our y is going to equal zero we have our a portion done right here and our b portion done right here